Hey everybody, this is Ryan Mallory and we're going to talk about three swing trades for the new year. This is like unprecedented times that we're living in. The market will not go down. It doesn't matter what happens. And the reason why is because there's just no sellers. Everybody's turning a blind eye to everything that's going on in the world and the economy and the political realm. It doesn't matter. Stonks just want to keep going up. Traders just want more out of their trades. They're wanting more reward. They're wanting more profit, but no one's really looking at the risk that they're taking on in the process. They're buying into the FOMO, the fear of missing out. They're jumping into leverage. They're getting into margin. Guys, it's great while it lasts, but then at some point there is a reckoning. There's a pullback. There's a sell-off. There is a correction. And if you're not careful, years of profits that you've been working to build up in your portfolio are going to vanish like that. That's why I'm always preaching risk management in every one of the videos that I do, because it's so important that it's great that you can make profits, but if you don't manage the risk when those profits stop showing up, then you're done for. Trading is more than a stock pick, and I always tell people that. It's so much more about the psychology behind the trade. How are you managing the trade? Are you taking note of risk that is in the trade? The position size. You gotta take into account all of that stuff. And instead, I'm getting a lot of emails from traders going straight into the YOLO calls and options trading before they actually ever become comfortable and confident in trading equities. I'm going to be honest with you. If you're not a good trader of equities and stocks, you're not going to be a good trader of options at all. It's just a matter of fact. So what I want to do with this video is I want to lay out the strategy for three trade setups. Now they may turn out really great or some of them may get stopped out. I don't know because I don't know what the future holds. But what I can do is plan the trades out. If the trade goes against me, this is where I'm going to get out at. If the trade goes in my favor, this is how I'm going to manage the trade as it increases in profitability. That's what our approach should be to the stock market. We note the reward opportunities and we note the risk. We make sure the risk is much smaller than what the potential reward is on the trade. Remember, we are in a massive bubble right now, bigger than the Nasdaq.com bubble. But even though that we're in a bubble right now, it's not our job to know when the bubble pops, but to be prepared for when it does. Maybe it's next month, maybe it's many, many years from now, or maybe it's somewhere in between. But along the way, with each and every trade that we're taking, we have to have an exit strategy. And we get out of those trades by using risk management along the way, using stop losses, planning how you will exit the trade before you ever get into the trade. So with all that said, I'll step down off of my soapbox and I'm gonna jump into these three trade setups that I want you to check out. The first one being TTD, the trade desk. Very popular stock that has seen a dramatic pullback. You can see it's very, very oversold for about the past two weeks. And on the surface, you see this big expanding megaphone pattern. You think to yourself, ah, there's nothing there to really trade. It needs to come all the way back down to the rising channel. But we may not get that because you also have an intermediate trend line that is developed off of the September lows that it's testing perfectly right now. So here's the thing. Perhaps it breaks below this trend line and pays no attention to it. But if you can get some consolidation like what we've seen here of late and then start to see it inch back up higher, that would be your entry price into it. Now, the cool thing is that you can actually plan the risk management pretty well. There's two options for you in terms of risk management. And it's going to really come down to how as traders, we view risk in our overarching trading strategy. One option would be if it closes below this rising trend line, get out of it. The other option would be if it breaks below the lows from November 10th, that would be somewhere around 697. If it breaks below those lows, there's a good chance it's going to fill that gap. That would be another way to get out. If that happens, then you want to target a retest of this rising trend line going all the way back to March of last year. Now that's the risk side of it. How about the profit side? Well, there is some profit there. You saw it go back over $950 a share as late as last month. If it bounces and it can sustain that bounce, the market continues to rise, then there's a very reasonable expectation that it can go yeah! over that 950. You also have earnings that are coming up on February 25th, which is still a pretty good long ways away. I'm not going to hold it through that date if I end up getting into this stock and can hold it through it. Just not happening. But overall, good, solid reward to risk setup of three to one on this trade. But before I get to the next stock, I want to tell you about my YouTube membership channel for a quick second. Every day, you're going to get my market research on the overall stock market. That's going to include my daily setups as well as my watch list updated multiple times each week. On top of that, you're going to get updates on all of the FANG stocks, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, and then I'm going to throw in Microsoft and I'm going to throw in Tesla each and every week. Then you're also going to get all the charts that I find each and every day that I find most intriguing. 
On top of that, you're going to get all of my analysis for the S&P 500, the Russell, and the NASDAQ updated multiple times each week as well. So check it out down below and be sure to join. Now, my next trade setup is going to be an MJ. It's a cannabis ETF. With the Democrats winning control of the Senate, this ETF and all the stocks related to it has seen a lot of growth over the last two days. You're seeing down below, there's a ton of volume pouring into the stock. It's starting to get a little bit overbought, so the key is going to be to wait for it to pull back a little bit. You have this double bottom pattern that has formed over all of 2020 basically and then you got a nice bull flag it broke out of that bull flag and it's been rallying ever since the key here is going to let a little bit of this euphoria wear off a little bit and hope that you can get a pullback on it if you can get a pullback to around the 15 dollar level which is right around the breakout area then that's going to offer a really good reward to risk entry because then i'd want to put my stop loss below the 1229 lows which is around 1415 just a shade below that and see if it can't take off now what i really like about this is if you look at the weekly chart is that there's not a lot of resistance until you get into this 23 24 dollar area once it starts to hit that level you may see a little bit of resistance play out but ultimately this is a fantastic reward to risk opportunity again you got to remember when it comes to trading not all trade setups are going to work out some of these stocks that i put out there they're not going to work that's just part of trading. Not everything goes according to your expectations or what you hope for it to do. That's why I, I talk about what am I going to be using as a stop loss? What am I going to be using for a target price? Because it sets the expectations. The last one is JETS, Jets. It's an ETF for the airliners. I really like this one too. You got a bull flag pattern, very similar to the cannabis ETF, MJ. You got a bull flag pattern just now starting to break out. You got people taking vaccines, they're gonna wanna probably travel again, right? As a result, there's a nice play here, assuming that these airliners can recover and start booking some reservations, that it's gonna start taking on some interest here with traders and investors alike and start to rally. Now you have a bull flag here in the works, like I already said, but you also have a little bit of consolidation over the last two weeks. So if you can get above 22.65, that's where I'd wanna get long at. And for my stop loss, I'm gonna put it at the January 5th lows, which would be below 2133. Again, let's zoom out to the weekly chart and see what kind of resistance that we have overhead. You can see there's really not much resistance until you get into the $27 range. So there's a lot of opportunity there to see a nice run play out in JETS. And that's gonna give you like a three or four to one reward to risk ratio. That's incredible. So I know it sounds like when I give these stocks and, and trade setups that I'm a little bit skeptical of them working. I am, I'm skeptical of every trade that I make. I expect to lose on every one of them. Now you're not gonna find too many YouTubers out there that are gonna say that, but I expect to lose on every trade. And when I'm right, I'm, I guess I'm lucky, right? But no, in all honesty, I manage to trade as if I'm gonna be wrong on every one of them. Because if I do that, I live to trade another day. I can move on to the next trade. I'm not putting my hopes and dreams all into one trade. There's a lot of people doing that right now. You're seeing it with Tesla and you're seeing it with Bitcoin. Traders are holding out hope that this is going to make it to where they never have to work again. <laughs> and you don't want that. You don't wanna have these false expectations of what a stock can do for you. Instead, you wanna go into every trade as if you could lose. And if you can't handle losing, Probably shouldn't be trading it, shouldn't probably be trading it all. So when I trade, I'm planning out every single trade. Where am I getting out before I ever get in? And if you notice, there's a little bit of a theme to this video here. Know where you're gonna get out at before you ever get in. Simple as that. If you like this video, I encourage you to like and subscribe. It helps me to continue to put out excellent content each and every week. I want to see you guys grow as traders. I want you guys to continue to learn. I don't want you to make some of the mistakes that I made when I first started out trading. And I know there's a lot of you guys out there that are new to trading. And tell me down in the comments below, do you like the trade setups that I put out there? Do you disagree? Are you in them already? What's your plans? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to check out your comments. Thank you guys, God bless.